Hi, I'm Jerry with Man Cave Embroidery. Today, we are going to talk about our Hoop Tech Gen 2 hat hoop and compare that with the new brother Baby Lock flat brim hat hoop. So, they're both the same, but in completely different ways, if that makes any sense at all. So, we're going to hoop the same hat on both and we're gonna see how they turn out um, on a machine. We're gonna talk about how easy they are to hoop, how easy they are to put on the machine, and the million dollar question is how close can we embroider to the bill of the hat? So, okay, so this is our Gen 2, or our Hoop Tech Gen 2 hat hoop, and that one will go with this one, and then this is the new brother baby lock flat brim hat hoop, and that will go there. We just uh, did a, a video talking about this one on walking all the way through, so we're gonna kind of gloss over um, the details of this, but just kind of to show you the differences between the two. Um, so we will start with the, with the Gen 2 hat hoop, okay? So with that, you purchase your hat hoop, and then you also purchase the T-Bar Framing Guide, okay? These will work in conjunction with one another to make hooping very, very, very super slick. So we're going to take our Hoop Tech Gen 2 hat hoop. We're going to place it onto the T-Bar Framing Guide, kind of put it on about a 45 degree angle, and it drops in like that. Okay, we release this part. It's gonna swing this way. Our stabilizer slides under this clip here, under this clip over here. The clips are the same. Give this a little push, both sides. Our stabilizer is set, okay? Take our hat, pull our sweatband out of the way, okay? put it on the top. Now, what you may need to see is, this is kind of where the magic is. Okay, our sweatband's pulled out of the way. Is let's come underneath here. Let's come all the way underneath here. This is such a great design. The T-bar lifts up and goes under the bottom part of the hat. Okay, and what that's gonna do is it's going to, oh, normally this works super slick, okay? You press down on this and look at the top of that hat. It's just as flat as flat can be. So all you're doing is this goes under the bottom and it just applies enough pressure to pull this all the way nice and flat. Once you have one hand on the T-bar part, reach over, Pull this across. There's a latch. If you want to come up and over, there's a latch, one single latch. This part here. And your hat is hooped. So super slick. Okay, then to take this off, release the T-bar framing guide. Your hat is ready to go. Okay, super, super slick design. Okay, now we're going to hoop our one on our brother baby lock flat brim hat hoop. Okay, this one ho hoops completely different. Okay, so what we're going to do is, first of all, we need to take this from lock to unlock to release this part that we're going to need. Move this to back to lock. This part is now going to go onto here. Okay, slides on, hooks in. Okay, put our stabilizer in. About the same way. Just slides under those two little lips. Okay, and it has these little teeth to kind of grab it. Now, same style of hat exact same hat, sweatband out of the way. Now we grab this piece, okay? These parts go towards us. 
So rather than hooping the, this hat onto the part that's stationed onto the table, we put this part up over the hat, kind of in midair, okay? And we're gonna form this around our hat, brim of our hat, okay? So that middle part will line up with the seam of our hat, okay? Then we have the sweatband pulled out of the way. Now, the, what works best for me is I take my two pinky fingers, we're gonna kind of guide these two silver parts <laughs> right now over here. Sophie enjoys the hats. Now you're gonna hear the clicking noise here in just a minute. Okay, press it down. Okay, that hat is now hooped and stationed onto here. We have our two little clips. They're just gonna go right up here. Same on the other side. Okay, now this whole part here just comes right off. Okay, again, completely different setup as far as hooping it, but they're both hooped. Now let's take them over to the machines. Okay, I have two 10 needles. I have a brother 10 needle and I have a baby lock 10 needle. In essence, they are the same. So what we're going to do first is we are going to hoop our new brother's baby lock flat brim hat hoop. I already have this um, hooped onto the machine. Now, you will notice the diameter or circumference or whatever math language this is, this is smaller than the other one, okay? This, this new hat hoop is not a wide, um, what's called a wide hat hoop. What we can do is, is on the front, we cannot do the sides, okay? So we're going to put this on, tilt it, rotate it, and it will only go on one way. Okay, perfect. That is hooped on. Now, in my other video that I did where I went through step by step on this hat hoop, we are combining the, the override clip that is over here that came with my Hoop Tech Gen 2 hat hoop. And let me just take that off and I will show you what that is. Okay. Again, this clip came with my Gen 2 hat hoop. This is an, here, I'll lay it right here. It's an override clip. And what that does is it tricks your machine into thinking that you are doing flats and not a hat. So the, this coming from the factory without this clip would have preset measurements as to how close you can get to the hat or get to the brim of the hat. Okay. It's just preset from the factory. So we're gonna use this clip. We're gonna use this clip here, this Hoop Tech Gen 2 hat hoop override clip on this, on the new brother baby lock flat brim hat hoop. Okay, we're gonna bring our design up. We're gonna switch spots so you can get a good look at the screen. Okay, so we have our design pulled up. We're gonna go to the live camera feature, which is this button here. Okay, we're gonna move it down. Okay, what we're doing is just positioning. We're using our arrows here for positioning. We have our little green square highlighted as that is our measuring point. I'm gonna speed this up just a little tiny bit so I can go a little quicker. I'm gonna drop it right in the middle of our hat, okay? So we're going to take a measurement Again, this is a night. This is our live camera, so you can see exactly what's going on in live time. Right now, we're at half of an inch up. Okay, 
on uh, a, the video where we went into great detail on this, we were able to go down to a quarter of an inch. But I like to go up between a quarter and three eighths of an inch. And again, it's because of the design of this hat hoop, the new brother baby lock hat hoop, and the Hoop Tech Gen 2 override clip is how we can achieve these numbers. Without the override clip, we would be further up. We would be better than the old one, but we would be closer down, but it's because of that clip that we can, we can approach these numbers here, okay? So what we're gonna do is we are now going to, oh, let me show you how we would unhoop this hat, okay? Take this off the machine after, let's say we've already uh, got everything all the way, our uh, hat's already embroidered. We just pop this off, rotate it, slide it off, take our two clips off, and what we need to do is come back under here. We have to go to unlock. It's because of the unlock is how we now are able to take our hat and this piece off, okay? What, what that piece does here, the lock and unlock is for this piece here, okay? So when it is in the lock position, you hear the clicks. It is hooked together. Unlock, you can release it, okay? This is what holds your hat in, okay? Now, let's go over to our, oh, but to keep things fair, what we're gonna do is I'm going to take my Hoop Tech Gen 2 hat hoop override clip and move it over here onto the Hoop Tech Gen 2 hat hoop, okay? Because this clip came with this hat hoop, okay? So again, it goes on the left-hand side over here because as we can see, let's take a little look at the screen here. Without this clip, we see that it shows that we're gonna be embroidering on a hat, okay? Now, I'm going to put this on and you watch right up there because we're, you will see how it tricks the machine. I'm just putting this in here on the left-hand side. Tighten that down and now we are where it thinks it's embroidering on flats, okay? So the only thing we have to do is we have to rotate our design so it will embroider properly on hats, okay? With, with, uh, with the machine thinking that we were doing hats, it would automatically rotate it, okay? So I need, oh, here it is. Okay, so we're gonna take our Hoop Tech Gen 2 hat hoop. And again, you can see that this is a larger, this is a wide cap frame, okay? We can see this part here is much wider than the uh, new one from Brother and Baby Lock. So um, what makes the difference is with this design, we have a lot more real estate side to side that's available to us, okay? So we're going to put this on. Again, kind of the same way. We have our little cutout here. Then we have where the little rollers are gonna go in here. Okay, we're gonna rotate it. Slide it on. If I can get it in here. There we go. Oh, and sometimes nobody wants to cooperate when the camera's on. Okay, there we go. Now we're on. Okay, now we're on. Good, 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 good. Um, one nice thing I've noticed, the diff one little thing I've noticed is with the Brother Baby Lock new flat brim hat hoop, it's so much smaller that if you're embroidering a hat and just because of that design, the assembly that goes onto the machine, if you run out of bobbin, you have to take the, the assembly part off of the machine to replace your bobbin. With this one, you have enough room, you can just work your way up in, underneath here, open the little door, take your bobbin out, put your new bobbin in, and you never have to remove this from the machine. So to me, that's a plus. So we're going to see how this lines up with our machine. Again, we're doing the live camera feature. 
green arrow. We're going to move it back here just a little ways. We're going to get it centered up. Is that looking okay? You see that okay? Is that better? Okay. So our Marcus is lined up with the center of the hat. Now, here comes the ultimate test. Our tape measure goes on. Right now, we are at three quarters of an inch up from the um, up from the bell of the hat. Now, I don't know if you saw that or not. I'm going to redo this. Okay, let's watch down here as well. Okay, I have this in, and I'm going to be moving it forward. As we're getting closer, there's three quarters of an inch. See, with that override clip, we can keep going. We can keep going. Let's go, let's, okay, we can make it to half. But let's come back over here, okay? Because of the design, okay, you watch the hat. I'm going to move this back, okay? You see where it goes back down? If we get, the closer we get, the hat comes up because we're getting pressure on the bill here. The bill is pressing against the back. So you don't want this tilted because then you're gonna start losing your contact points, okay? So we can go down, but if we were to, let's see where we're at. Let's do our little measurement. We're gonna go back to half inch, okay? Again, my little uh, test that I like to do for myself is to rotate it to the right and then all the way to the left to make sure I'm not gonna get caught up on anything in the back, make sure I, I have proper clearance in the back, you know, because each hat has its own little uh, different personality. But same hat here is what we had over there. Let's, let's take a little listen. We might be able to do a half inch on this one, um, but it's, it's tilted up just enough where I'm not comfortable with it. So on the uh, Gen 2, on the Hoop Tech Gen 2 hat hoops, I usually, um, it's just comfortable range for me is at three quarters of an inch, okay? So um, so we're at quarter of an inch, three eighths of an inch on the new Baby Lock Brother flat brim hat hoop with the Hoop Tech Gen 2 override clip. And with the clip and the Gen 2 hat hoop here, we're about three-fourths of an inch. Still much better than the factory ones of, of, of the old, okay? So I'm going to move this hat down so we can take this off. So you have this comes off. It just pops off, okay? Comes off these two rollers. Rotate it, and it comes off. So my opinions... Again, these are just Jerry's opinions between the Hoop Tech Gen 2 hat hoop and the new, oh, that's kind of sad looking at it, um, and the new Brother uh, Baby Lock flat brim hat hoop. Hoop Tech, much easier to hoop, much easier to hoop. With the uh, T-bar uh, framing guide, much easier to hoop. We can get closer with this one closer to the brim. But again, it's only with that override clip that we're able to do that. Um, we have more area on this one. We have smaller area on this one just because of the size. Um, but here's the way I look at it. Both absolutely phenomenal products. It's like having two different size um, screwdrivers in your toolbox. There's times that I go to this one. There's times I go to this one. So you can't go wrong with either one of them. But the key, especially getting closer to the brim with this one, and with this one, is the override clip that the Hoop Tech, um, the Hoop Tech Gen 2 hat hoop comes with. And I believe, um, the last I heard, you can purchase that override clip separately. Again, two phenomenal products, two completely different ways to do things. Um, yes, both great products, they both do things completely different, but I don't believe you'll be disappointed with either one. So hope you enjoyed the comparison and uh, if you have any questions, comments, anything else you'd like to see, let me know. Thanks.